Hi, this is Tom. Welcome to my channel. I had intended to make a video on something else, but then something happened in the middle of trying to make the video that I decided to make the video about this instead because I thought it was it was pretty funny. In a <clears throat> not a funny way. Funny, not funny, haha, -ha, but funny as in well you'll see. Alright. So for the part of the image, uh, for an image that I was working on for the video that I wanted, uh, you can probably guess what this is. This is like, you know, Newton looking at an apple that it's about about to fall. And I asked uh, ChatGPT to create this image, which it did using Dolly. Okay, so the, um, uh, the OpenAI changed the file format for downloading to where instead of PNG that it used to be, it's now uh, a web P. Um, so the only way you can look at it that I'm aware of, there, there's probably some editing tool somewhere that can do it, but is is, is a web page. All right, so this is a double click on the file comes up as a web page. And in the OpenAI developer section, they talk about why they did this. Uh, so it says, we understand that this change can cause a creator's internal database and download images, cause disruption in your workflow, blah, blah, blah. And where the problem is, like, you can't save it uh, in a way that you can, like, you know, that it's usable, except like to show in this uh, as, a, as an HTML on a web page. Okay, which... I assume there's got to be ways of dealing with this, but the, what I wanted to show, because I thought this was, this is the funny part, is um, I use, uh, you'll notice, you notice here that it says that this is a, a modern format, produces superior losses, lossy compression for images on the web. And this is the key part here. It was developed by Google. Well, the software that I use for my blogs is Google's software, Google Blogger. And you have, um, if I want to input uh, an image, I go upload from computer, choose files. And then you can see in the file system, uh, well, it's not showing up now. It was showing up. Okay, I guess even this isn't working. When I when I was doing this before, let me try here from this view. Okay, this view. Okay, here you can see it. All right. Here you can see in the file system is, uh, is the image. Okay, so the file system understands this. But when I go to the blogger software, which is by Google, to have it, you know, uh, upload the image into the Blogger, Blogger software, all right, I'll select this, it fails. Because it can only use ping files, JPEG, GIF, or ping files. So uh, I thought this was pretty funny and um, not a good way. Uh, like if you're wanting to use ChatGPT, you know, to create images, um, and you can't download the images to your file system in a way that's usable, that seems like an issue. And I think that they kind of jumped the gun here and they're uh, changing the way they're doing this. So a lot of people are complaining about this. And I think this is kind of a typical way that decisions are made without consulting the people that are actually using uh, you know, your, your product. And, um, again, the irony for me is that the compression was used by Google and I cannot use it in software developed by Google. So I just wonder how people that are using other software not developed by Google are, um, you know, what kind of issues they're having trying to use, um, use this. I mean, fortunately, there's a workaround, which is just to do my journey prompts. Uh, which is what I normally do anyway, but I thought for the workflow I had, because I was using ChatGPT to help write the script, I was using the blog, I could do, you know, everything together, but I'm not able to do that. Anyway, um, the 
what prompted the video was the irony of the fact that the compression algorithm was developed by Google and doesn't work in their own software. So um, I'm interested in any comments that people might have. Um, but I hope, uh, hope you find this interesting. Thanks for watching. Till next time.